<sighs> well, I'm moving. So I'm getting ready to move to Dallas, Texas to get away from everything that I know so I can see growth not only in my personal life, but also in my business career. With such an ambitious move, I'm not just moving by myself. I'm actually bringing some family along. We had some conversations, it actually turns out we have a lot of similar mindset. We're both sick and tired of being in the same areas that we've been living in, and it's time for a new change of scenery. Yo. Yo, D. Yo. Yo, shooting the YouTube video right now, man. Telling the people that we're getting ready to move to Dallas, man. Man, all I wanna say is time to get home, man. It's time to get home. I was telling the people that like, we've been in these spaces for majority of our lives. We realize there's nothing left for us. You know, we, we, we push each other for greatness. It ain't no, no slack and it ain't no, you know, nothing like that. It's just, we, we want to see the best of each other. Make sure that we accomplish these goals in a certain amount of time. If there's one person I know that's always going to come through, it's you. When we went to Puerto Rico, we had a six bedroom Airbnb. When it came down to the final hour, it was just you and me, bro. When it came to South Africa, you were like, yo, I'm going to be there. And you were there. And we said we was going to go to Dallas. When I booked my flight, you booked yours. All right. I got to be transparent for the video. When we went to Puerto Rico, I bluffed. But when we went to Dallas, I, I told you, I did what I told you. I, my dance was not that good, I'm sorry, but I did it. Man, so I only could imagine, you know, how it's going to be, filming with us, it's going there. Learn some more salsa, batata. I think I said it right. Close enough. <laughs> I don't want to say for the upcoming audience, upcoming viewers. When you first start something, don't expect to be good at it. You mean you just dance thing for an example? I knew I was a little stiff. I knew it wasn't going to be the best. But you have to get out there and do it. You have to try. If you want to get good at something, you must be okay with failing, looking kind of crazy and goofy for the first couple of times. But as long as you keep going and you keep trying, man, you, it's, the sky is the limit. True words, bro. True words. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video. I'm gonna holla at you later, man. Hey, and don't forget, it's time to get home, bro. I'm gonna get home, baby. <laughs> All right, man, I'll holla at you. All right, be safe. All right. I told you guys, like-minded. So as I reflect on this past year, it has been a lot of unexpected, without a doubt. Let's do a little recap, shall we? Around about the ending of 2022, I ended up leaving my apartment in Richmond, Virginia, came back home with my parents, what I thought was gonna be a short amount of time, which turned out to end up being about a year and some change. <laughs> Most people would see this as a failure, and at the beginning, I did too. But when I look at the year as a whole, I really have to start realizing how much of a blessing this last year was. We started off the year by taking a trip to South Africa. So the monkey and elephant sanctuaries. I was actually able to make a cool little travel video for me and my family that they continuously look back at that video and they will continue to do so for years to come. Then I came back home, was just trying to get things situated because the year previously, I ended up doing really well financially. When you make a lot of money for the first time and you don't know what to do with it, you can easily squander it. And that is exactly what I did. So I came back home to try to clean up every bit of taxes and debt and such that I had accumulated accumulated over the year. It took about till summer for me to get a phone call that someone actually wanted to hire my company for our first corporate gig that allowed us to make a good chunk of money, I must say. Uh, this is my first time where I was able to create and construct an actual team to go together. A team was super needed this year because I actually had to be in two places at once this year on the exact same day. And if it was not for this team, I would not have been able to make this happen. So luckily enough, my team was so fantastic. They went ahead, they took care of the shoot. My assistant, Karen, camera guy, the sound tech, the onset camera guy, everyone did a phenomenal job and I'm super proud of the job that they have done and our project actually is almost done. Some lessons that I learned this year that I was not expecting to learn was learning to walk away. There was a contract negotiation that was had this year for a client that I've been working with for about a year. Came to an agreement, it ended up stopping and somehow never got pushed forward. And I was continuously pushing away work because I was trying to operate in good faith. But someone really close to me told me that I should never allow someone to have the power over me, causing me to sit on my hands and do nothing. Finally found the strength to end up walking away from that contract. It was a little hard at first, but it wasn't until I opened my hand and allowed whatever needed to be let go to let go. It was for God to put something else into my hand because very shortly after I ran into my mentor as a business coach here in Virginia, helped me change my mental when it came to the aspect of business. And taking me from just being a videographer to someone who's trying to create a digital conglomerate. When people say when you change your circle, the conversations change, they really mean it. I'm now in circles of people that are helping push my mental, allow us to lock in, 
in, niche down, and focus solely on one thing and master the processes of that particular niche. Now, this year was also full of some exciting adventures with my friend Mike. For instance, I had a wedding in Mateo, North Carolina, which is like Outer Banks, North Carolina. In Charlotte, there's an old teammate of mine who is actually doing very well in the fitness space. I reached out and say, hey, I'm already down here shooting a wedding. Next day, why don't I come? I film some content for you because he's an ambassador for a fitness brand. So I said, dude, me and Mike will head over there first thing in the morning and we'll be over there and shoot the video with you. He said, cool. Now, it wasn't until we were done filming and then found out Desmond's location to find out he was six hours away. Most people would just say, mm, no. Now, for Mike and I, we said, why the heck not? After the wedding, came back to the hotel, knocked out, and early in the morning, we took off for six hours to end up in Charlotte, North Carolina for the first time ever to shoot a video with Desmond on what he showed us to be the super dope rooftop gym that we actually ended up filming on. Here's the only problem. We had 30 minutes to shoot this video. Trying not to stress, realizing I'm just trying to push myself to be in uncomfortable situations and see what comes out. The video ended up being phenomenal. TLF ended up liking it, Desmond loved it, and the mission was accomplished. Our entire goal was just to shoot a spec ad with Desmond for the brand that he was already representing. I also got a short chance to meet up with my best friend from college, Makaya, and AJ, of course, who is my brother. Not to mention the other adventure of me and Mike flying all the way down to Orlando, Florida to go catch up with another old teammate of mine and really good friend Allende who was doing phenomenal in the fitness space. First thing in the morning, as soon as we landed, he picked us up. The moment started from there. We immediately went back, he finished up some content, we went to the gym, and we automatically started filming. This entire day was nothing but non-stop content, 24 hours, no sleep, and then we even got a chance to meet Austin Dunham, which was pretty cool because I've been following him for a few years, so it was really cool to kind of meet him in person. And we actually even got a chance to shoot some lifestyle content with not only Allende, but Austin as well. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. So safe to say this year has actually been full of a lot of firsts and it's been pretty exciting. But now nothing is more exciting than me and Deontay getting ready to head down to Dallas to start a new. Trying to get out of the places that we've been before. We've heard on social media constantly about you need to leave your hometown to grow. You'll be amazed at what happens when you leave your hometown. And I've lived in Virginia for a majority of my life. Deontay has been in Baltimore all of his life as well. So understanding that we're finally locked in on the type of businesses and the vehicles we wanna use. So we said, why not get away from all distractions, all comfortability, just figure it out in a completely new environment. That's really the gist of it. So we ended up taking a short trip down to Dallas to even see what it was like. We loved it, absolutely fantastic. And by the time we were done with our trip, we ended up saying, I can officially see Dallas as being my new home. Can't wait to move down here. We went down to Dallas for the first time and all we saw was Rolls Royces, Porsches, G-Wagons, um, Ferraris. When you get around stuff like that, get a visual of what's possible even in the area. We just knew this is a place where we can see ourselves growing and being in at the same time. The point of this is to get uncomfortable. The one common factor in all of the growth in business and in my personal life, the more you end up being uncomfortable and dealing with it, the better you find yourself to be. Now, we understand one thing is that this is not gonna be a cakewalk. We understand that when we go there, it's no one's gonna hand us anything and we understand that we're gonna have to work for everything, work for networking, work for work for relationships, work for connections, all these things we understand. I have a feeling that there are some people out there that when you go to a completely different place, you have something in your head already as if it's going to plan out perfectly and there are gonna be no wrongs. Even when we went down to Dallas, we were there sober minded just to see if there's something that people could tell us to be like, okay, this may not be a good place for us. And in the same instance, we have a clear understanding that this is not going to be easy. No one's going to hand us anything, but all we have is each other. And honestly, when you have no idea how it's going to go, I think that's the most exciting part. Who's to say that it'll go perfect? Who's to say we don't end up moving somewhere else? Who knows? I think that's the fun part. You know, even when I first started this journey, it was kind of exciting during it because you never really knew where it was gonna end up. You know, when I first started shooting content against this wall right here, I never expected that I would be, you know, filming with an entire camera setup and sound gear and all this stuff. I never expected all this to happen. But the excitement is when you get to look back and be like, I did not know any of this was gonna happen, but it's so dope that it did. And you end up developing stories and memories just from the journey. The best part and the funnest part is the journey, not the destination. So yes, we have high dreams. Yes, we have big aspirations, but we know we have no idea what's gonna happen along the way, but I think that's what's gonna end up molding us 
into the men that it's gonna need in order for us to get to those goals. This is just gonna be a series of vlogs of how things are gonna go, the obstacles we face on our way down there. Who the heck knows what's gonna happen, but honestly, I think that's the fun part. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along with us. Catch you guys in the next one.